sauerkraut or ode to the overzealous oh, guy. <laughs> we grew a lot of cabbage, so we made sauerkraut. Purple, green, and strong enough to make the snot run out. We made it by the bucketful, fermented it in crocks, shredded, salted, then mashed my feet free of shoes and socks. We put it in the basement where we weighted it with stone, and waiting in its own sweet brine, we then left it all alone. Because like wine, like cheese, like love itself, sauerkraut is always better aged, plus it has an active living culture. <laughs> Unlike where I was raised, a full gallon crock every day from mid-July through Halloween, and when Thanksgiving rolled around, they numbered 114. We really like our sauerkraut. We consider it quite the treat, but suddenly we were scooping kraut onto everything we'd eat. Kraut with corn, in casseroles, on lobster rolls with beans. It tasted great with scrambled eggs, best hot dogs ever seen. Yes, there were Reuben sandwiches, of course, and sausages by the score, but I knew we had an issue, Bob Welch, when we made sauerkraut s'mores. We took to drinking shots of brine, a daily dose of juice, gastronomically addictive, it kept our tummies loose. That tangy enzyme elixir was a digestive miracle. It mattered not when you hit the pot, you could void yourself at will. <laughs> we ate sauerkraut, we drank sauerkraut, and we never gained a pound, but... Although sauerkraut is low in fat, it's mighty high in sound. <laughs> Dear Lord, that backside bugle with black reveille each dawn, then improvise merry jazz riffs as the days wore on and on. I must confess amusement to puck a tight and fake a tune, but not so swell those unholy smells that would permeate the room. See, winter's here in Yaha, so wet and windy, cold and gray, so we seal the farmhouse windows up and we pack the base with hay. This keeps us nice and cozy, snug and warm till spring shines bright. But we never considered the consequences of the meaning of airtight. And so savoring sauerkraut symphonic sounds and that sauerkraut sachet, we spent that long cold winter eating all the kraut we put away. Now I am not a stupid man. And frankly, neither is my wife. She's not any kind of man. On that, I'd stake my life. But here's my point. There's just no way we ever could have known how much sauerkraut gas had been building up inside our hermetic home. Still, everything would have been just fine when April rolled around and we opened up the windows and raked the hay up off the ground. But here's the thing. Before the spring, my brother came to spend the day. And, and the way it goes, the day he chose was the day we were away. Well... Joe let himself in. He always does. We, we gave him his own key. He walked into the kitchen, sat down to wait for Ma and me. Now, I do not tolerate smoking. And I have told him straight before, if you want to suck them cancer sticks, Joe, do it outside the door. <laughs> but brothers, they're like babies. When there's no one around to see, they do exactly as they please. So it seems to me. I'd always said, those will kill you, Joe. Ha! Turns out I was right. Because when he flicked his bait, my friend, my brother saw the light. <laughs> as did everyone who lived for miles and miles around. And they say as far away as Eugene, they heard the sound. Our farm was gone. It was just a smoking hole. And as for my reformed smoking brother, an earlobe with his diamond stud was the biggest piece recovered. But we rebuilt a brand new house, as you can plainly see, and while we did, we forged as well a new philosophy. For as ye shall sow, so too shall ye reap. That's now our family adage, and yes, we will keep gardening. Still, we're never growing cabbage. <laughs> Yeah.